Rescue operations over at Jindo for the submerged ferry will get more difficult with showers and strong winds forecast tomorrow. And here in Seoul, residents suffered through thick toxic dust where an ultra fine dust warning was issued. For more, we connect live to our Kim Bo Gyeong standing at the Weather Center. Hi, Bo Gyeong. Well, guys, making matters worse, tomorrow rain will fall on Chindo, and that will be accompanied by strong winds blowing at 8 meters per second. Also, the tide will be at 2.5 meters, which is about one and a half meters higher than today. Here in the capital, as of 5 p.m., an ultra fine dust warning was issued. Currently, Seoul is seeing 181 micrograms per cubic meter, which is about four times the normal level. Chuncheon is at 182. Two micrograms and Ulsan City is seeing about 131 micrograms, so children and the elderly should refrain from doing outdoor activities. Currently, the nation is at the edge of a high pressure system, which is why we're seeing cloudy skies down south. Through later tonight, Teji will get about 5 millimeters of precipitation. Tomorrow, showers will spread to most parts of the country, with Jeolla, Namdo, and Gyeongsangdo provinces forecast to get between 10 to 40 millimeters. Elsewhere, the central regions can expect less than 5 millimeters. The showers will add some much needed moisture to the dry air. On to Thursday's readings, Seoul tops out at 22 degrees, while Gwangju and Busan hit 17 and 19. Moving on to to other regions. Jeju reaches 21 degrees while Dokdo and Mangkumgang make it to 13 and 10. Back to you guys.